Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you another method for finding maximum and minimum values of functions on an interval. So to do it without graphing it, all right, let's go back to our y equals editor. We have cosine x. And I want to find the minimum value of this function on some interval, or the maximum value, doesn't really matter. I can go to my math functions. right there and then I'm going to scroll down notice I have f min and f max now in order to understand what's going to happen here and how you have to enter this I'm going to click on plus to show you what the syntax for this will look like all right we can type in the expression or if we have a function defined in our y equals editor we can just refer to it by its y equals variable so expression and then the variable what variable are we looking to maximize here most of the time it's going to be x and then we need a, a lower bound and an upper bound. And then we can also define a tolerance. Um, so we're just going to use this. Refer to our function in y1. And we're going to maximize or minimize our x variable. And we'll do that between 0 and 2 pi. All right, now something interesting happens here. It tells us where the minimum occurs, right? It occurs at pi. But notice it doesn't actually tell us what the minimum value is. This is a really big difference to understand uh, when you debate whether to use this method or to find the minimum or maximum graphically. When you use this method, you will get the x-coordinate where the minimum or maximum occurs, but it does not tell you what that minimum or maximum value is. When you use the graphing method, the second calc using the intervals, then it shows you where the minimum occurs or maximum occurs and what that minimum or maximum value is. Very important distinction here. It will play an important part in determining which method you choose in order to find maximum and minimum values or whether or not you're just looking for where maximum and minimum values occur. 